Hello everybody, I hope you are having a comfy, a cozy, and a manicured Friday <laughs> afternoon. Um, so something I like to do for uh, my wife and I um, is I like to make uh, fresh burgers, fresh burger patties for my wife to have uh, for dinner, you know, once a week or so. Um, except I don't just make them once a week, I make a big batch of them. Um, and then freeze them, so we have a whole lot of burgers pre-prepared for several weeks to come. Um, and, you know, in the process of making these burgers, you know, it's, it's three pounds of ground turkey, it's a pound of ground beef, it's, it's four pounds of meat, and, you know, it yields about 16 burgers, so great, but, you know, I gotta really get my hands all up in there and squish and squash and all this stuff. <laughs> all the sloppy noises I'm not going to replicate. Um, so to prepare for this, um, when I do this, like I did last night, um, I clip my fingernails as short as humanly possible because um, having to clean out uh, raw meat from under your fingernails is a really gross task. <laughs> so I, I, I go ahead and uh, bypass that task by uh, clipping my fingernails as short as humanly possible. Um, but the problem is... I'm apparently a very, uh, very itchy kind of fella. <laughs> I, I just, I just like scratching myself in places. <laughs> and now that I have the world's shortest fingernails, I just itch and I cannot scratch and it's driving me mad. <laughs> I want nothing more <laughs> than to just scratch parts of myself, but I may as well be wearing uh, oven mitts right now for all the scratching I can do. We're back with more Dark Cloud 2 with the Back to the Future uh, legally distinct time-traveling train uh, behind us here. We are in pursuit of... Uh, let's see, last time we got the, uh, we got the uh, Star Key, the, uh, the Richard Star Key. We got the Ringo, if you will. Wahoo, and that means we can access all the floors of all the dungeons. Yes! So we've got a, a number of MacGuffins to be getting, and gosh dang it, let's go get them. Shall we? Um, let me repair my Ride Pod Shuffle first. Can you do that for us? Nope. We'll have to make that a... Uh, we've got Cedric equipped at the moment, so I guess we gotta do it this way. Um, I don't... I guess it's because we're... I think Repair Arms is grayed out because they're fully repaired? No, they're not. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> uh, can't refuel because we don't have the points. Let's repair. Do we have anything that needs some repair? The fishing rod is, is good. Poison wrench. Let's repair that while we're at it. Can't repair anything else. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Cool. Hooray. We are ready to get in there and cause some family-friendly, cute, cel-shaded mayhem. Uh, let us get in there. Uh, we have only a couple more geostones to require. Uh, yeah, there's there's only two more floors here. Let's find out. Let's see. There's a fish goal, and there's Sveta. Fortunately, there's no seal here. Can we? Okay, we can't preview if there's any seal on the next floor. I don't like when there's seals on floors. Seals belong in the ocean. And we're loaded. Wonderful. <laughs> I was going to say I should equip my uh, my PlayStation 2 with an SSD, but that doesn't make any sense. Actually, I mean, you kind of can, but the fastest way to load from a uh, load of PlayStation 2 is over Ethernet, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, and at the end of that Ethernet connection is an SSD anyway, so look at me go. Wonderful. A chest right off the bat. Here we go. It's a really big mimic! Pew pew. Get pewed upon. Get PewDiePie. Alright. And I will steal that experience. Look at me go. Such a little thief. Oh no, I'm doing it again. I just stole that experience and uh, handed it over to my golf club. My golf club does not need battle experience. Gosh dang. 
All right, we are one step away from building up our poison wrench into the Sigma Breaker. Uh, we need to find and defeat <clears throat> a star tortoise. Can't wait. I've been. <laughs> this is we got. This is a poison wrench plus seventeen. We've been hanging on to this for a while now, <laughs> waiting for uh, the eligibility to build this up. So let's hope we can do that today. I would love to make that a goal today, but I can't really promise that. I have no idea where that enemy appears. <laughs> so all I'll say is that, well, I hope we get to finally build up that weapon today. That would be a great time. Here we go. Oh my gosh, so many chests. And we know there are mimics afoot, as well as earth fireflies. Mimic! What, uh... I'm poisoned. Oh, no. Well, that's all right, because we have maximum antidotes. That's fine. But also, we have, uh... Where's our... There it is. We have a an anti-dote amulet. Although, I thought we had more than one. Well, clearly we don't, so... That's fine. Bonk. Non-stop amulet. Don't really need that right now, but we'll keep it equipped because it, well, can't hurt. If we can think of something better to equip, well, then we will. But until then, everything's fine. Can we, is this a, is this a rock that can be interacted with? Tisn't! Yay! That is a tree that can be interacted with, though. Watch us go. Look at us interacting with nature. No, no, did he drop some spores? No, luckily he did not. Found a poison apple and a rolling log, though. And the magic crystal, which is obviously one single word. Magic crystal. That's, that's all it is. It's not two words like the game text box will have you believe. It is a single word. Magic crystal. Alright, found the exit. Found another big, bad, angry tree person. Mad Gina Torres. Did you offspring? You did. How dare you. I did not authorize uh, your reproduction. This is bad. There we go. Well, they drop money, I believe. Right? I'll go ahead and... Yeah, check that out. Free money! I mean, those were children. Explosive children, but children nonetheless. I can only assume that's lunch money I've stolen. But they've exploded, and they're not going to need it. I may as well have it. Yeah! Hello, big bad tree. Please don't reproduce. Oh, no, you reproduced. All right, I'll just, I'll just wait for your children to explode. Ugh, as children are wont to do. I was a child once. I know how um, how much I wanted to explode. All the time. The teen years were rough. And bread. It's bread and a rock, and we're gonna eat it. Actually, I should eat that. Our, our health is quite low. There you go. Oh, heck. Have some seconds. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Way to go, Max. Way to eat that bread. You have some bread that needs eaten? You better call Max. Alright, I'm just gonna sit here and laser zap your offspring. Hope you don't mind. It's just something I do. Uh, I want that experience. Gimme, gimme. Hey, we got the fairy saw. Wonderful. Exploding offspring. There we go. And a rock that may or may not contain bread. Ah! 
and a mimic that may or may not contain bad times. Get smacked. Something about it smacking a mimic, it just doesn't get old. No, always reproducing. You're dooming your children when you do this, you know. Please don't pop in my face. I don't like when children pop in my face. There we go. Lovely. No harm, no foul. Give me all your lunch money. I'm really highly confident that they don't need it anymore. Look, if they if they need it, I will happily give it back to them. Uh, it's repair powder, but we we are full on repair powder. I am uh, I'm happy to just use that. That's we've been full on that for a while. Where is the repair powder? Uh, an increasingly good. There it is. We are not full on repair powder. Here's seven. Okay. Use that, whatever, it's fine. Uh, where's the rest of it? There should be another pile of 13. Theoretically. But. Is it on... Is it on Monica's hotbar? No? Bombs are, though. Those are valuable. Let's put those back in our inventory. Okay, so we have six here. Where's the rest of our... repair powder? Why does it say we're full on that? Is that armband repair powder? I didn't say, did it? Oh, gun repair powder. Okay. My bad. I've been foolish. There's, there's some repair powder. It's not that I can't read, it's just I can tell the future. Not only can I read, but I can read events that are yet to pass. Don't offspring. Ugh, it offsprung. How could it? Pretty fly for a birch tree. We could flee from this place and keep on keeping on, but there might be another Geostone in here. You never know. But there is, we do know, a Sveta Stone. That's going to need, uh, <laughs> it's going to need manhandling. So let's, let's complete the floor so that we can embarrass ourselves with our Severely lacking uh, Sveta skills. Yet again. Mm Mimic. Get bonked. Bonked and stun locked. Stun locked, if you will. I spy a giant spider web. Leave a message. And I'll call you back. Mm-hmm. And somehow that branch has been consumed in the process. Get bonked. Hey, that was a, uh, a terminal bonk. Wahoo! Loving it. I can play Sveta. We'll, we'll get there on our own. I don't want to leave the experience behind. I feel like teleporting out of there would just deprive us of tasty, tasty experience. And look, anyway, there's a uh, we've got the Sveta right here. It's pink paint. Everyone's favorite. It's like blue paint, but it's pink. Okay, so... Equip a Sveta club. 
Okay, so it's off this way, behind this enormous tree, evidently. I wish I could see around it. Can I bank this way? Oh boy, this is gonna be... I can't see as well as I wish I could. Oh, you know what I could do, though? I could probably make this happen. And we're gonna try. And put it way up. Let's do that. Okay. Almost did a bad swing. But then we didn't. Oop. Okay. Pretty close. Problem is, we need to bank this. Because <laughs> it's currently blue. We need the ball to be red. So we need to somehow take this tiny, tiny shot <laughs> that I could kick with my own foot. Um, and turn it into a bank shot. Alright, let's see how hard or not hard that might be. Alright, there's no G... Oop, okay, that might work. There's no... Uh, let's see if we can find some geometry here. That, that will help. Okay, that's helpful, I think. That might be good. Err. Hey, it worked. All right. <laughs> I beefed the swing, but it's all good. It's all good, man. I've been itching to watch Breaking Bad and uh, Better Call Saul again lately. Final bomb. Ooh. Uh, it reminds me of uh, my statistics class in college. Uh, what does this do for... Uh, three flame. Alright, I guess it's just, uh... Ooh, it's difficult to make as well. How oh, interesting. Alright. And we got some gooey peach. We've got gooey peach and we've got potato cake for days. We've got, uh... We've got a lot of fishing to do in the near future as well. Oh, while I'm on the screen. But up. <laughs> Alright. We unequipped our golf club like a pro. Um, plus five. How many, uh... Can we... Let's, let's, let's break out Monica here. What's our... Oops. Do we have, uh... How many synth... How many points? Oh, we can do this. We can do this. Um... Yeah, great. Pop that on the brassard, why not? Yeah, or did we get... It's fine. It's fine! Ooh, that's a good stat boost. Loving it. Mm-hmm. Loving it. Uh, another gold brassard. And a sandbreaker that we can do something with. That's right. We also got a star breaker in a, uh, in a box. A star breaker in a box. Yesterday, which... Might be very valuable. This could be a very powerful gun for us. And... Let's take a look. How's our how's our gun looking here? Magic gun plus nine. If we wanted to switch... Okay, so let's see. 57, 55. Okay. Hmm... Kind of... okay. There's potential. Alright, let's move on. We've gotten... We've scoured this floor for everything of value. We have sterilized this floor of all of its enemies. All of its life. And... Swoop. It's good. Exit spotted. Uh, where's the thing? What am I looking for? I'm looking for the saw, that's right. Um, there it is. Wonderful. Let's get deforestating. Well done. Happy day! We've ruined a little bit more forest. Like a real human would. Alright, and of course... 
practice. Safe data hygiene. That's a good save. All right, let's get in there. The final floor. Chamber of the Sleeping Earth Gem. Oh my. Trentos! Alright, where's that Trent OS? Is this an operating system in the shape of a tree? How, uh... How's the ride pod? Okay, I was gonna say, is he just gonna stand there? But no, he does, actually. He does actually move. Which I guess is only fair. Okay. <laughs> um, slurp, slurp. Uh, well, that was quite the uh, <laughs> quite the boss fight. Anything of interest in here? Do I have a map? I no map, no map whatsoever. It is just a single room. Okay. Om nom. Oh uh, yeah, one of four magic MacGuffins acquired. Off to a great start. Yeah, lovely. Okay, and now can I leave? Can I leave, please? Uh, oop, there we go. Return to previous floor, lovely. All right, move to Sindane. Move to Seinfeld. Move to Sinbad. All right, how about... What can uh, what can Cedric do for us now? Not a lot, okay. We need to... Oh, that's right, we need to unequip him. Before he'll start regenerating some points, I think. Or that he'll take longer, I think, if he's in our party, or something like that. Go to Sindane, yes. Go to Sinead. Okay, we must. We, we are tasked with 100%ing this tiny little village. Leafy tree. Fence around Furbit's house. Uh-oh. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things around the Furbit's house right now. Resident in Straw House. Did we... I think that's the one we may have... No, we have not. Elder Jurax branch restored. Okay, so we need a fence around the Furbit house. Alright, that's gonna be... <laughs> Can we make the fence out of houses? Because we're already halfway there. Uh, what kind of... Oh, we have a straw house at least. Uh, and let's place... I forget if this fellow... Gordon Treeman, that's right. If he requires a uh, a house that's not straw. I forget. Well, either way. Well, we're gonna dull. So we're just gonna plant a straw house. There you go. In as of not... Okay, actually. Can we... Mm, what's the... Hang on a second, this purple house only has one chimney on it. Who authorized this? Not I. Alright, let's make a comfy, cozy, claustrophobic little neighborhood here. That's pretty, uh... Mmm, look at all that personal space. Am I even going to be able to... Oh yeah, plenty of room. You can open that door, no problem. Disappointed. Alright, let's see. We need to make some fences. Go all the way to the top where the cheap stuff is. Wooden gate. Rough wooden fence. Beautiful. Um, let's make... 
How many can we make? We can make 11 of them. Hopefully that's enough. Otherwise, we're going to have to spend some money. Spend some muns. Rough wooden fence. Please. Magnet off. We don't do magnets around here. Am I going to be able to sneak it in here? Or is this going to be... I think... Am I going to have to build, like, around all of these houses? <laughs> uh, all of these properties are going to have to share a uh, fence here. Alright, can I... I, w I, wish to I wish to zoom in, please. I want to find... Just one blue pixel. I don't know if this is going to work. This might just be a little bit... Too close. Can I just move the Furbit house over like an inch? Or... Uh, it's all so... So dense. I'm loving it, but clearly it's become a problem. The weird thing is I can put a fence in here no problem. Right? I thought I was seeing... Yeah, see, I can put a fence right here. It's fine. Game doesn't object to this at all. All right. Maybe there's a magical angle where it'll for some reason work. I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try Ooh, okay, I can't quite do that then. Alright, okay, we just gotta we just gotta change things up here. Clean up. Can I take this whole house? I can! I can just I can just do that. Alright. Uh place a furbit house. Uh the crookeder the better, that's for sure. Can I... I think the crookedness can only help. We got some stones here. Don't know why, but they're there. Can we back right up against the purple house and make them uncomfortable? We gotta... Gotta make this uncomfortable for somebody. Uh, how about, is it like, this is like parallel parking a micro machine. I saw a little bit of blue. I'm going to find it again. Like a pig in search of a truffle. I saw a blue pixel and I'm going to find it. There it is. And now let's rotate. Okay, that's a good rotate. Rotate your barn owl. Mm, I don't know if that's going to work, though. That's still pretty close to the... Oh. Alright, well. Let's just put the Furbit house... How about... Oop, you are liking it right there. How about... In the water? Nope. Not a fan, unfortunately. A, a moat around the Furbit house. Does that count as a fence? It's like a water fence. Alright, alright. I'll just have to do this a sane way, I guess. As much as it pains me to do a reasonable thing. There you go. Get nice and friendly with your neighbor Gordon Treeman. Okay, now let's sneak some fence in there. Right. I'm seeing some blue. I'm, I'm seeing less blue. The blue went away, unfortunately. Is there going to be... What seems to be the problem here, officer? I don't think we're going to... 
I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. Is there? Okay, there's a little bit of blue here. I wonder how the game measures if it's surrounded by fence. Is there just... Does it just check for a unit of fence on each of the four signs? Let's see. Nope. That does, that does not count, unfortunately. It needs more. Right. Did that update now. Yeah, okay. More rough wooden fence. And believe you me, it's going to be real rough. There we go. A little bit of, little bit of that like that. And boom. Okay. Looking tasty. I'd buy that for a dollar. Three fifty is the best I can do. Okay, we're we're doing all right here. Can I squeeze just a little bit of fence in here, please? Or is this gonna be? We can squeeze a max in here, according to the UI. So why not a fence? What do you mean I can't put fence here? I take offense to that. All right, we got a little bit of a little bit of blue in here. There it is. Is that all of the? I think that's all the fence that I'm allowed. Do I have any more? Oh, that's all the fence that I have produced. Hopefully, that's enough. Let's find out. No, not yet. They desire yet more fence. Greedy, greedy furbits. All right. Time to buy some logs. Actually, hang on. I can buy logs from... from Gordon Treeman here, can't I? By God, I think I'm remembering something about this game. Enter house. Uh, buy Giorama parts and rolling log. Perfect. Uh, let's buy. Uh, yeah, that's a fair amount. There you go. We still got 25k. Wait, were you selling? Uh, hang on. Wait, wait. Actually, what do you do? Bonus attack on plant monsters. Got it. What is? I, I just saw this. Plum rice ball. Fully restores health, cures statuses, but causes thirst. Mmm, pass. Gotta wash it down, don't you know? Alright, and now... Time to build some more rough wooden fence. Another... Another 17 ought to do just fine. Let's place some of them. All right, can we sneak you in here? I hate having to put things at at acceptable angles, but you know, I think that's the that's the. We're just gonna have to cooperate here. How's? All right, all right, all right. Can I sneak? Okay. All right. Great. And I would love to put one right here somewhere, somehow, some way. But the game's just not having it. Actually, it really isn't having it. It's having... Oh, I think I saw a flash of blue. There it is. Okay, that looks uh, passable. Uh, fun fact, I am a, uh, a furniture builder. A hobbyist, of course, but a uh, furniture builder nonetheless. And I'm just bringing some of my real-world experience into this game here. 
There we go. Some of this looks entirely too clean, but... Well. Gotta do what you gotta do. What's our... There we go, 90%. That counts. And we just gotta plop a straw house down. Did we do that thing? Where did we put the... Did we plop a straw house somewhere? We did! That's right. Alright, who can live here? Who can live here? Next, there's, of course, been a change in the future. The future's always changing. The future is... is gaseous like that. Uh, who can we move in here? Um... Well, we'll do this for now. House isn't cute. Okay, there you go. Julia will live here. If we need to move her elsewhere, we can. We'll be fine. What's our... 100% wonderful. We are there. We can even fast travel somewhat to the future here. And bam. Wonderful time to have a sip of some ice cold, lukewarm water. unclear to me how these characters can be aware of these changes happening around them. Gonna sneeze out a shop. Jurak gun. Thanks, Master Jurak. Okay. Now I thought another shop was gonna up here. Well, it looks like you've been to Sea Crest, am I right? Way to go, but you've still got a long road ahead of you. Don't you give up now, Alan? Um, maybe I have to. Because there's a photo opportunity here. For Root of Eden. Um, I think another shop is supposed to be over here. In this nostril. Which is disturbing, but it's the way it works. Oh no, it's right there. There we go. Jurak Arms Sign. I think that's the new thing. How do we get there? We climb. There we go. You climb the tree. Oh dang, there are a lot of things appeared here, including characters. What's your name? Estoff. Much better than Urin. There's a character down there named Urin. Terrible name. Not even kidding. Uh, Jurak has been revived, so it's time we strike back at Griffin. I'm sure we can win if we work together. Find the golden egg. Aquamarine. Gold paint. Alright. I wonder what'll come out of this egg. An omelette, of course. Okay. Wonderful. Anything else? I'll have to take a look at the uh, photo guide. Thanks to you, Jurek, and this whole forest is back to normal. Come back anytime. What you got on tap? Dryer gun. Mm. Bell and trigger, long sword, antique sword. Okay, bone rapier, repair powder. Kitchen knife. All right, neat. Let me, uh, ooh. Amethyst. Dear wife, I found a purple thing. XOXO husband. Alright, very cool. Now let's. 
Now that we have completed Jurax Mall, all of the photos that can be taken here um, are available to be taken. Uh, to that end. Uh, here we go. There's a whole heap of photos to be taken in Palm Brinks, but none of them are missable, fortunately. Uh, let's see, Jurac. There are some Jurac stuffs. Mushroom, Mushroom Burger. Above Jurac's arms sign. Okay, there's some quartz here that I haven't photographed, it looks like. Let's photograph some quartz. Ta-da! Loving it. Beautiful. Wonderful. Uh, let's just do it this way. There we go. Let's move those then. Ba -ba -da -ba. Can we... So what's in the album here? Mm, okay. Interesting. S stuff. Okay. Delete all pictures. It's all good. All right. Pictures taken, 680. Number of ideas, 119. 15 scoops. More scoops, please. Oops. Uh, we got the Woody Taylor sign, right? Surely we did. There we go. If we didn't, we did now. Quartz. Okay, and everything else appears to be... Um, unmissable. So, if we need something, we can go back and get that. Nothing in Chapter 1 is missable. Chapter 3. There are some things that have to be completed before Chapter 7, and dang it, we're gonna do those. There we go. Beautiful, wonderful, exquisite. Alright, that is a 100%ed forest right there. We've done good things today. Mmm, it's so pretty. Thankfully, the Ixion has the magical power to do this despite everything. I don't think I photographed fruit. There we go, I certainly have now. And also, I saw on the list that we can photograph Jurak's eyes. And Jurak's nose. There we go, those are things. Uh, we'll see if those come in handy. Um, yeah, great. This is looking perfectly normal, like a uh, sane human being. Uh, laid this all out for sure. Uh, I am interested in talking to Donnie over in Venicio in uh, Queens 2.0. And let's get some scoops. Love me some scoops. And we gotta do our best to not uh, fall out of bounds while trying to enter the house. There we go. <laughs> that's that's how we do. Beautiful. Your house looks like it always has. Wonder if the secret, etc. Dig for a scoop. Seven more. Knew you had it in ya. There we go. Bandit coin. Yes, please. Okay. Wonderful. Freelance journalism at its finest. Um, where? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Had to. Oh, that reminds me. While we're here, it appears as though. What's your name? Your name isn't Shingala. 
Your name is... Mmm... Pow. Thank you. Pow, it appears as though a relative of yours is trying to take over the world. You're still here, right? Yes. You give me some advice on how to defeat your kind. Oh, it's you guys. Thanks for helping me out with Shingala. So, what's up? What? You want me to go with you? Oh. Okay. No, no way. Uh, I've got to stay here to wait for Shingala. But I suppose I'll, it'll be at least six months before the Shigura return. I'm just hanging around till then, so I suppose I could go with you. There's uh, there's no point in being here. I guess I'll just, I'll just be wasting time. Hell yeah, you're human, so I bet you know. That uh, really delicious food, you know, what's it called? Tacos? Come on, you know, it's orange and about the size of a fish. That's a taco, all right. Anyway, it's orange and it's unbelievably tasty. I really want to have it again. Could you give me one? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, did you bring me one? I'm pretty sure I have a carrot in my inventory. There it is. The carrot taco. Ah, this is this it it specifically. The color, the smell, the crunchiness. Mmm, I guess hanging out with humans isn't all bad. Okay, you have a deal. I'll go with you. Actually, I had a hunch a little while ago that the world's in trouble. I knew when Shingala was around that a guy called Griffin was up to no good. So I guess you must be after him. In that case, I'd be glad to help. By the way, I'm not just helping you out because you gave me a carrot. Please don't think that. Hmm, I think that. I think that very powerfully. <laughs> I didn't realize we could, uh... Adopt the fellow. Uh, is he in our party automatically? Nope. Okay, let's let's recruit Donnie. Uh, Donnie. Pow. Into our party and see what his uh, special abilities are. Okay, let's walk into fast travel zone. Here we go. Okay, beautiful. Let's go to the train station. Avoid the mysterious uh, time warp portal. Incredible technology. No idea how it works. Not gonna ask. Uh, go inside. Uh, okay. Any... We found Pow! Hello, Pow. What are your, uh, what's your special power? Detection, map display, detects mimics, detects gate key monsters. Okay. I can... That has some utility. Get advice. Whatever it is, we better find the gems quick before it's too late. Alright. I didn't expect that Pow was going to be a recruitable character. It's interesting. Um, I just came here to accost him about how clearly one of his kind is uh, trying to destroy uh, reality. Alright. It's time to... Mosey on over to chapter three, which I believe was Balance Valley. And if I remember right, is this? I think the forest is the only one we didn't 100% on our first time through. Let's find out. Yeah, we're good. We're already 100%ed here. So. That being the case, let's go ahead and hop on over to the future version of this joint, of this berg. Um, it's over there. Darn. Well, okay. Since we're here, <laughs> let's hop on over to. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Wonderful. Yes. The list of photos to be taken 
in the Starlight Temple area. Vroom, vroom. All right. Let's get these photos before it's too late. We jumped, etc. Ixion, yes. Okay, so a uh, crescent shaped light. Let's find one of them. Um. It's not immediate, immediately obvious. I'm going to guess they're inside these buildings somewhere. Unless these are crescent shaped lights. Nope. Um, Lao Chao's trademark. Okay. Chinese lantern. And a person. I don't know who, to, who you are. Roan. That's right. You're incredibly out of place, but everything's fine. Um, okay, so let's see here. Uh, star items, specifically. What's in... Uh, Bao Chow trademark. Ooh, there's a pork dumpling here. We can. There's a pork dumpling and a runaway dragon. Om nom. Scroll. Where? Oh, there you go. Runaway dragon. Uh, scroll. What else is in the bistro here? Uh, okay, that's all the bistro stuff. Nope. Special Peking duck. Uh, must be it. Indeed it is. Uh, runaway dragon, pork dumpling, wow, chow, trademark. Alright. Off to star items, whatever that means. Gonna guess that's the name of one of these other shops. What are the other... You! Whole lot of rabbits here. Is this, uh... Star Items? Tis! Okay, so we are in the place called Star Items Crescent Light. Um... Starlight... Star Items Peeping Pole. Did I read that right? That is indeed peeping pole. All right. Yeah, that's okay. What? What around here looks like a peeping pole? I don't know what that means. It ain't that. Star glass. All right. Well, we found that. I guess uh, just a uh, spray and pray here. Peeping pole. Am I? Oh, it looks like a telescope. Thank you. Okay. That makes much more sense. Suddenly, the words peeping pole, uh, I have a context for those words and can imagine what that means. Is that going to be on the ceiling? Nope, it's right here. There we go. Wonderful. We found it. Uh, star items. Anything else in here? A lot of bistro stuff that we got. Star glass. We just peeped that one. All right, great. Let's also... Uh, everything else is in the... Uh, There's only one more thing, even. Tis... Uh, where did it go? In the temple, in general. Large pointed hat. Alright. Can I read any of these for some tips? Milk can, chimney, peeping pole. Let's see. Uh, sure.
So, milk can, chimney, peeping pole. Do I have those? Do I have a chimney? Probably do. The do, and a peeping pole. Gee, have we photographed a peeping pole recently? I think we have done. All right, let's invent. We invented a milk can say body. <laughs> say say cheese. Okay, that's it's <laughs> appropriate, I guess. Um, milk can body. Need a lot of metal scraps. Um, I wonder if that's a good, good thing. No secret to be had here. Or, no hint, anyway. How about, how about, how about, okay. Bottle, Chinese Lantern, King Mardan. Okay. Bottle, Chinese Lantern, and King Mardan. I did photograph King Mardan, yes, is it did. Chinese Lantern. Oh no, I'm forgetting the third thing. Chinese Lantern. Oh no. Oh no, my brain. Was it Bottle? It might have been Bottle. Ew, I got something. Stamina drink. Wonderful. Did I... Yes, I did do that right. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so there's one more thing around here. And it's called hat. Let's see if we can find a big hat. Uh, let's see. Hat in Starlight Temple. In the weapon shop. A large pointed hat. There we go. I'm going to guess that's the weapon shop. Just because I haven't seen any weapons around here yet, and that's the last place to go in here. Beautiful. Alright. And show me a hat. Is this a giant hat? Oh. That's a big hat, alright. Tem! It's Tem. Hello, Tem. Ten thousand years ago, you're telling me that the Luna Lab can accomplish such a feat that even the Great Crest was incapable of? Yeah. Weapon, barrel, crescent-shaped light. All right. Sure. Weapon, barrel, Crescent-shaped light. Barrel. Oh. Uh, Crescent-shaped light, that's right. And weapon. The Huyapan. Surely, there we go. I was going to say, surely I've photographed a weapon at some point in this game. It's like taking a picture of the sky. Oh, hey, there we go. Samurai say arm. Geez. Wonderful. We made a thing. Great. I don't necessarily want to use that. I'm liking my my melee or not melee, my ranger robot. Any more ideas hiding around? Oops. You've witnessed the massive power of the moon crystal, right? But there is only one who can use it. Crest, the great sage. There's no way normal people like us could ever do anything like that. Ah, you see, but I am no normal human. I am a YouTuber. Which is to say, I am subhuman. Howdy, we got a great selection for you. <laughs> uh, our weapons are known for being strong and sturdy. What you got on tap? Oh, it's a swan. Wise Owl Sword, hello, old friend. The Wise Owl Sword. Um... Brandit, Brandit, <laughs> Bandit Brassard, there it is, Platinum Brassard, Moon Armlet, should probably 
get a better armlet slash brassard for uh, for Monica at some point, surely. But well, clearly today is not that day. Okay, I think we've captured all the photographs that we can in here. I think that's all of the missable photographs. Uh, from chapter three that have been acquired. Wonderful, wonderful. And with that, I am going to take my very first break of the stream. Uh, I'm going to stand up, stretch my legs, get some water. If you are able to do those things too, I recommend that you do, because your body loves all those things really very much. When we come back, uh, we've got some, uh, some unlocked floors here in Chapter 3 to be exploring, and we're going to do that. Oh yeah, can't wait. Um, enjoy the kitty pictures while I'm gone, and I'll be right back. Hang tight. All right, and we're back. Thank you for waiting, everybody. I'm in a, I'm in a good mood today, and it's it's easy to be in a good mood when you're playing Dark Cloud 2. It's a good mood kind of vidgy game, isn't it? I got some nice coffee by my side. I got some nice chocolate snacks, and I got some. Some Dark Cloud 2 in front of me. If this isn't nice, I don't know what is. Digging it, let's get in there. And let's find ourselves another MacGuffin, shall we? Another Chapter 6 MacGuffin. Uh, let's see, where was the fork in the road? Why, it was here, of course. Alright, this looks like this was the thing. Um, I'm reminded I wanted to change characters change uh, sidekicks Don't worry about that on another time that is a worry for future me right now I am present me the younger version of me younger and thus less wise all right we can run around one shotting Many, many things. Hmm. Hey now, I disagree. <laughs> We're even one shotting the big robots, the big battle bots. Urgh. Get one shot. Gotta find. Yo-yo barrel. Alternate universe cello player. Oof. Hey now. There we go. I'm glad these can't really do much. Wait, I'm hearing something. Ah, that's what I was hearing. The Holy Gemron. And it's... Magical attack. Bouncing off the wall behind me. Alright, let's find... Let's find the fork in the road here. And heck, we'll just smack things on our way. Because smacking things, well, it just kind of don't get old, do it? Mmm, an angel coin. Or coin flip chance, anyway. Um, no, I will take those slivers of experience. Slurp, slurp. And. Ah! Ah! Ha choo! There you go. The angel loves a good sneeze. ABS bonus. Is it a reasonable amount? Indeed. That was helpful. Um, compared to Dark One, also, hello, <laughs> but uh, compared to Dark Cloud One, uh, there's a lot of similarities. Um, there are some differences, there are some mechanics that have been sort of 
streamlined and simplified a bit, but in a lot of ways it is very much a Dark Cloud game. So far, I think I have to say that Dark Cloud 1 uh, is my favorite of the two, but I'm not done with Dark Cloud 2 yet, so let's let's wait and see. I see a special something over yonder. There we go. Smack the Gameron! And we will use our, uh, our Ringo. Our... Ooh, that's right, we have some Eden Fruits. Our star key on the Ringo door. And we, oop, we need a steak we don't have yet. Correct. Steak required. I'll hang on to that Eden apple. Until a later time. Oof, alright, oh, I, <laughs> I did the, uh... I hit the photo-taking button. There's our steak. Perfect. This will get us out of the level. Yep, exactly. This is this is very similar to how Dark Cloud 1 worked. There, on each floor, each dungeon has a, uh, a different sort of key item to exit uh, that a random enemy will drop. Where did the steak go? This dungeon's key item for exiting is the giant meat. So that we may attract a condor to get us the heck out of here. Alright, on to the next floor after we perform the sacred saving ritual, of course. That's a good save. Mbasa. Oop a doop. Looking for the wind gem. <laughs> yep, this is very reminiscent of the forest. Uh, there's a region called Venicio later in this game, or I should say elsewhere in this game, that's very reminiscent of Queens. Um, another one that's reminiscent of. Uh, Muskalaka, that's the name. There's, there's, there's some homages paid, of course. This is theoretically the same universe. Yeah, Queens was some good, good comf times for sure. All right, this is now a new floor for us, full of enemies that are actually appropriately leveled for us for a change. So now we actually got to be careful and play with some thoroughness. It's a Balala. Geo Balala. I look forward to the day when Silk Song finally drops. If it ever does. <laughs> well, I'm, you know, uh, given infinite time, surely uh, someone somewhere in the universe will make a game called Silk Song. If it's not Team Cherry, it'll be some alien entity somewhere else in the universe. For sure. There we go. We may have to wait billions of years. Oh no, wrong button. I wonder why I suddenly want to hit X, or sorry, square, to defeat enemies. That's a, an interesting reflex that it has come out of nowhere. We stole a prickly. Can I just shoot you? That's not the shoot button. There it is. Okay. Time for some healing. Uh, when in doubt, cheese. Mmm, that's good. In fact, uh, nah, next time. Thunder spirit, water spirit. It's all the same. 
Ooh, ah. Just lock on to anything, please. There we go. Here we go. Stun lock. That's what I'm talking about. Forest dew. Sounds delicious. Forest dew, if I remember right, is the sort of back room kind of key. They're not... they don't function as back rooms explicitly the same way as they did in Dark Cloud 1, but... A similar concept. These, uh, these Malalas are surprisingly tanky for being flowers and all. Delicious. Maybe Forest to Do isn't the back room item, because I just got another one. <laughs> Your your knees were injured during rugby. Oh no! Ooh, we got the falcon. I was gonna make one of these earlier. I'm I'm glad we found one. Or I was gonna buy it. Maybe I forget. Either way, whatever resources were required to acquire that, don't have to spend them anymore. I hope your knees uh, return to normal ASAP. I recommend feeding your knees all of the comfiness that you can find. That's sage wisdom for everybody. Oh, 16 years ago. <laughs> it's the, yeah, well, you know, it's never a, never a bad time to feed your knees some comfiness. Get smacked? Speaking to the Balala, of course, not your knees. Smacking your knees is not going to help anything. Especially not with a wrench. That reminds me. How's our... What's the last... We're looking for a star tortoise. That's right. Where, oh where, could the star tortoise be? Once we find a star tortoise and defeat it, we'll be able to build up our weapon into something new and incredible, I'm sure. Oof, okay. Well, now is the time to do the thing I was thinking about earlier. Uh, Fruit of Eden. Use that on Max. There we go. And now that we have a bigger health bar, now's a good time to do a full heal using some. Primo chicken. Mmm, tasty. Okay. Oh boy, that's a lot of that's a lot of ganging up here. Let's level the playing field, I think. Uh, actually, no, they've separated themselves out quite nicely. There we go. Prickly acquired, and a heat fairy. That was my nickname in high school. No, it wasn't. I'm kidding. My my real nickname in high school is not uh, mentionable in polite company. Four repair powder. Dang nice. A nice healing fountain. And a magic crystal. How about a... Uh, Anything valuable hiding in this rock? Why, no, of course not. It's a rock. It's weird for us to expect it to contain something valuable. And yet we keep expecting that. Oh no, oh no, we're getting, we're getting mobbed here. Oof, no mobs, please. Mobless percent. Ooh, that's a whole heap of experience, though. Loving that. Even found some soap. Uh, do we have a, uh... Do we have any keys handy? Uh, if we do, they're gonna be in the middle of the inventory, probably. Ta-da! There it is. <laughs> we, <laughs> we got two of those on a single floor! Handy! Handy! 
I would love it if Max's ultimate weapon was a golf club. But so far that doesn't seem to be the case. I have not yet found a golf club that does anything even slightly resembling decent damage. Alright. Exit spotted. Just gotta find some meat. There's no meat in this rock, unfortunately. Uh, that's perform. Uh, I was gonna say perform a heal, but that's not strictly necessary. We're gonna endure the little beeps for just a moment while we march on towards the healing spring. There we go. No resources spent for that full heal. Only time. And not even a lot of it. That's a good trade-off. Get bumped. Did I? <laughs> yeah, I think I just kicked it. Uh, the terminal kick at the end there. Map acquired. As well as some enemies. Oop, that was an interesting backflip. Unintentional backflip, but it seems to have saved me. And I'm okay with that. These rocks can hang out. Oh no. Saw that coming. Couldn't do a thing about it. <clears throat> there we go. Ooh. There we go. We found the giant meat. Giant meat was most definitely not my nickname in high school. Let's see. I can play Sveta on this floor. But first, hey, level up. Loving it. Uh, let's head over to the healing spring one more time, because we're real clumsy. Good heal. All right, let's also uh, take a look. Uh, we got ten synth points. Yowza. Okay, so what's our lowest stat right now? We're, we're ready to build it up in terms of stats. We just need to defeat a star tortoise before we can do it. Huh. So, we may as well just put points into our lowest stat, because we'll need to eventually. And it looks like chill. Um, here we go. We got six chill crystals. Sure, let's do that. imbue this wrench with many chill points. Alright, and now let's see. Uh, I'm going to save these gems for when I have a more specific goal in mind. Gold paint. I don't know why I have more of that, but I do. Uh, maybe we'll find a utility for it someday. Anything else we can... We've, we've still got four synth points. What's our lowest now? Flame? Let's put some points into flame, shall we? That'll do. Four O oh, them. Bam! A very nice amount of flame damage on this weapon now. Is this one also? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we've got 8 synth points on this one. What does building up look like? Uh, more lightning. We can do the thing.
imbue. There we go. And we can build up. Beautiful. Question shooter. Is that a decent... <laughs> that, that doesn't... That sounds like a gimmick weapon more than it sounds like a useful weapon. Hmm. I wonder. Huh. Cyclone, Smash, and Beast. Can one of these gems do that for us? Not really. Oh, wait. Eh, not really. Oh, wait. <laughs> I have so many of these all of a sudden. Um, okay. There's something, but not the best. Okay, let's take a look at the... I don't know if I want to do that yet. Tell you what we're going to dole. What we're going to dole... We're going to go ahead and find the Sveta. Let's start there. Let's let's start by doing some Sveta here. And then we'll worry about the gun. And while we're on our way towards the Sveta, we're going to have some... Good old coffee. All right, delicious and energizing coffee. Let's take this uh, one of these two falcons for a swing, shall we? Uh, let's see, what is uh, good for long shots? Well, we do certainly got ourselves a long shot here. We unfortunately did... Okay, it is behind there. Oof, this is going to be tricky. Okay, this seems to imply that the bridge doesn't have any collision, so I'm going to go ahead and trust the game on that one. That might be a little bit too much sauce, but let's find out. Wow. <laughs> Despite everything, I did not fall off the world. And in fact... We might be able to make this. Ooh, it's okay. Just barely. Oh. All right, we need a little more heat on that one. Although it has now turned to red, so that's going to be inconvenient. Let's send it all the way against the wall here. Uh, this should be good. Whoosh! Oh! I thought there was more bridge there. Alright, turns out there's not. Alright, we got one more shot. We have a good color, though. Let's do... Full blast. Full-ish blast. Oh, <laughs> so close. So close. Oh, well. Tis a pity. All right, now we got to find the good exit. There it is. Exit spotted. And away we go. Okay, so now that we have concluded our Sveta session, specifically using the, <laughs> the the word concluded. It is perfectly indifferent. Um, I am going to save the game and then build up my weapon into the question gun and then compare the stats. And if I regret it, 
I'll reload. <laughs> Gonna do a little bit of save scumming. Do that a good save here. Bam! Good save. Alright, let's get in there. Uh, there is yet more Sveta. Oh, and there's more Geostone, even. That's weird. We've already 100% the floor, and yet there's more Geostone to be found. That's... unusual. Let's see. Alright, let's build up the weapon here. Let's equip our wrench. There we go. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's build it up into the question shooter, I guess. Uh, let's take a look at our stats. They're all pretty good. 50s, 60, 40, 30, etc. Okay, things went up. Question shooter. Interrogates the enemy. Don't know what that means. No. No clue what that means, but <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> um... Yeah, lovely. Um, how does that compare to... Oh yeah, the Starbreaker is really quite a weak enemy in comparison. Enemy. A uh, weak weapon in comparison. And then... Alright. Well, hooray. We'll see if I uh, we'll see if I like that. Wouldn't be surprised if I do. <laughs> pew pew. Alright, we got a... We got a real... Pew pew gun here. Guard. Interrogate that enemy. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> have I interrogated it? I'm not sure. Get interrogated. Uh, okay, we've been we've been clumsy, and thus we must devour. Uh, what kind of what's our status effect? I'm not sure what that is. Let's have some cheese. Oh, that's the status effect. <laughs> we can't use any healing items, I guess. Do I have anything to cure that? I have a banana. Bananas cure everything. Alright, we gotta spend a mighty healing on this one. Okay. And now... Crunchy bread. Delicious. Ah, oh, no. I, I, I don't know what... <laughs> Alright, maybe maybe one day I will understand what, uh, what the question gun does. But at the moment, it is unclear. I was expecting it to be like uh, Steve. The Steve slingshot from uh, Dark Cloud 1, where it would just give you information about the thing you're locked onto or something. Ooh, look at the metal the metal mask man in the back there. Okay, not low. Not liking. Not liking. Let's get some heal happening. Primo chicken, don't mind if I do. Herc. Alright. I don't like how unstaggerable the mummies are. They're very sturdy mummies. Alright. Stole a potato cake from the big iron mask man. Bit of a non sequitur, but it's fine. And... Mmm, tasty, tasty healing spring. Pleased for that. A geostone of unknown utility. Anti curse amulet. That actually sounds like a really good idea. Um, I don't think we need the stop amulet. Let's, uh, where's the anti... There's escape powder, so we do have that. Equip the anti-curse. That's apparently gonna be... a handy thing. 
I shall not pass. It's another Balala. And the mummy. Get staggered, please. There we go. At long last, we have staggered a mummy. Oof. Okay, so uh, that status effect is not curse. I wonder what that status effect is. Sadness, maybe? Uh, it's not petrify, that's for sure. Uh, what other... I have soap, but I'm not gooey. It's definitely not stop. Because it hasn't... it didn't work last time. What other, what other amulets do I have here? Anti-goo? Which really is not goo. Maybe I just don't have it. Pity. Alright. Gonna use a lot of these then, it seems. Alright. Uh... Now's a good time to heal by virtue of cheese. Oop! Uh, I forgot to, uh. I did that bad. There we go. Just taking some face tanks. Ain't no thing. We got the chili crystal. Get smacked! Oh boy, so many red dots in so many places. <laughs> There's a lot of extermination that has to be completed here. Slurp, slurp, loving it. Mr. Iron Maskman. Ooh, hey now. No defending yourself, please. Uh, let's 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 go crazy with some bread ingestion, shall we? There we go. That's a good bread ingestion. All right. Now, if you could stop hurting. That'd be special. That'd be special and nice. This fellow can get Ride Pod shuffled. There we go. Ride Pod Nano to the rescue. Never let me down. Oop! Bad luck for the Mimic, he spawned facing the wrong way. And simply couldn't recover. Who else wants some? Mmm, anti-curves. Max, why can't you throw rocks? <laughs> He's just he's so bad at <laughs> throwing rocks. <laughs> oh well. 
All I wanted to do was render this plant unconscious. And yet. All right, exit item acquired. <gasps> purple paint, dear wife. On this day, we acquired some purple paint. I'm sure this news finds you well. Okay, that's a good genocide right there. Are we anywhere near the fountain? Well, that's quite a trek. I think it's worth doing, though. We've been using a lot of uh, healing stuffs. Because we've been playing quite clumsily. Can't be doing that. We have to come back this way anyway, so... On our way... While we're on this, while we're out this way, why don't we do a full heal? That sounds like a brilliant idea. All right, beautiful. Look at me being savvy. I did get the magic crystal, so I. Oop! Never mind. I was gonna say I happen to know that there's no enemies this way, but. Turns out, secret enemy all along. No face kicking, please. That is not how you make friends. Hey! All monsters defeated. All right. That takes care of you guys. So yeah, if you're in in pursuit of some uh, some friend making advice, my my advice to you is when you're trying to make friends, don't kick them in the face. That's a uh, it's a good place to start. I don't think you need to draw attention, necessarily, to the fact that you're not kicking them in the face. For instance, I don't think you need to introduce yourself as, like, Hi, I'm Dave. I have no intention of kicking you in the face. That might come off a bit weird. But if you simply refrain from kicking them in the face, they won't know it, but... They'll appreciate it. Let's fill in this map over here. There we go. That's a good map fill. Who's Phil? Equip a club. I'll equip you. Alright. I might be able... It's going to be kind of a Hail Mary in it, but this might be doable. Almost full power. Oh, it bounced. Well, it's red again, I think. It is indeed. A little bit higher. There we go, there's the magic shot. All right, <laughs> nothing but net, loving it. That's clean and classic, that's what that is. Um, let's go over there. It's all the way over here. Kind of a long haul, but let's go over there. Usually when I win at Sveda, I'm standing right next to the hole. But 
No, not this time. Hey, level up powder. Love to see it. We'll use that. Someday, for sure. Uh, okay, where is the... The brilliant and wonderful exit. Have we not found it yet? Is, oh, there it is, yeah. It's in the... Ooh. Sneeze. Yowza! Where did that sneeze come from? Snuck up on me. Fortunately. I'm quick with the cough button. That chest was open, so clearly we've been very close to the exit. But never quite tickled it. Yeah, let's do a save here. Marvelous. Okay, one more floor and then ostensibly a boss fight. Let's make it... Oh, no. Okay, so this might be... This might be sealed to be max only. Which I am a-okay with. Yes, okay, great. No enemies uh, spotted so far. Mimic? Not a mimic either. This is a lonely, lonely floor. There's this, oh boy. All right. <laughs> I, I regret saying anything. Oh, okay. Many regrets were felt on this day. Whoop, I, oh no. Oof, let's, let's go ahead and, oh, hey now, okay. It's a Sleeber. We must defeat the Sleeber. Did something heal? It's a Sleeber and a Blumo. Can't be having any of these. There we go. I found cheese. And we got the exit item. ASAP. Yeah, it looks like it's, uh... It looks like it's healing. Or something. Not a fan of the Sleepers. Ah. Okay, well let's go ahead and use some Ride Pod fuel since we got uh, since we got a freebie. May as well. Holy cow. All right, we got some cheese recently, and well, we're going to use it. Oh, hey. Dang it. I'm going to have to start a tally of... All the times that's happened <laughs> where I go to accost an enemy only to discover I still have my golf club equipped. Um, let's, let's have some primo chicken here, I think. Well, we don't have the golf club equipped anymore. So at least there's that. Ooh, more ride pod fuel. I, I, I legitimately can't do anything with that. I am full on that thing. Take that, Blumo. P 
Pew pew. That's a good pew pew. Slurp. They both leveled up, I think. Both of my weapons. Um. Still have not found a star tortoise. Five synth points. <clears throat> What's my lowest? My lowest looks like uh, flame. So let's do that then. Uh, how much flame? Uh, flame do I got? There we go. We got 16 flame. Let's go ahead and spend five of those. Ker chow. Poison wrench plus 20. My gosh. I can't wait until I can <laughs> level this thing up. Um, and you too are ready for some building up. Oh, look at you. Um, I've been seeing some heat fairies, so let's find... I've actually seen both of these enemies now, I think. So, we can, uh, we can hunt for those. Um, anyway, let's... Exorcism, Scale, and Lightning. Exorcism, Scale... Huh. What's, uh, what does the most? Lightning. Ten lightning there. That's not bad. Five scale. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you what. We'll do... Yeah, let's throw the, uh, let's put the amethyst. in the gun here. We'll make the gun a little bit more, a little bit more purple. A little bit more purple never hurt anybody. And then we'll load this up with three more scale things. All right. Lovely. And let's see. Still need more of all those. That's A-OK. -okay. Could use a spot of uh, repair, though. There we go. How's this one? Nah, we're good. Sleeber. I've had it up to here with you and your sleeping. Ooh, look at the size of those hands. My, what big hands you have. All the better to applaud you with. Yeah. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Big hand. Okay. There is, but a little space between me and it. And, while well, we're at it, repair. Grim repair. In fact, I'll even let the Ride Pod Nano absorb the experience that it earned. See Dragon Crystal? Loving it. Get stunlocked. And also thank you for the potato cake. I like how that man is literally just a floating, hovering tank, and he just can't block a single swing from my incredible poison wrench plus 20.
If all that armor led him here, of what use was the armor? No Country for Old Men is a th thing I should watch again soon, I think. <laughs> that and Chernobyl. It's been a while since I've seen Chernobyl. YouTube's been recommending a lot of Chernobyl clips to me lately. I don't know why, but it has. Um, boy, Chernobyl was good. I'll have to watch that again sometime soon. Get sleeped. How's Blumo? There we go. Blumo is stunlocked. Oop, nope, he, he got out of it. Good Blumo. Oh yeah. This guy's a metal fan. Look at him doing the headbang. Rock on, give me the horns, friend. Stole a cheese from the Blumo. Perfectly normal sentence. Gotta remember to put this guy up against a wall so he can't jump back, because he likes doing that. And I don't like it when he do it. Ooh, two treasure chest keys. That's some exquisite stuff right there. That chest is empty, and I'm a-okay with that. The one before it had some real good spoils. Okay. I let the uh, Ride Pod Touch have the uh, experience last time, but this time, nope. Just gonna steal it. Okay, this is a mess. <laughs> this is a mess. Let's... Okay. There we go. Less messy now. I'm digging that. Uh, we could use... What do I... Uh, yeah, we've been... We've been accruing some cheese. Let's pin you against a wall here. There you go. Now you're boned. Perfect. And we got our cheese back. We got a cheese refund. We got a cheese fund. Fun fact about living in Wisconsin, like I do. Uh, if you look on your uh, pay stubs, you will see a deduction for the cheese fund. Blumo got uppercut into oblivion there. Oof, uh... Okay. Is that A? That is all. Alright. That takes care of you guys. Wonderful. Yeah. Loving it. Okay, we still got a chest. We, st we still got... These floors are getting bigger. They are getting... So big that I'm clearing them before I've even explored everything. There's a chest here. And we happen to know it's not a mimic even. Destruction crystal. Alright, let's try to find... This Sveta. Feta cheese, and where is, where is the Sveta going when it's all said and done? We have eight shots to send it home. I have no idea where home even is. Equip a Sveta, yeah, right, equip a Sveta club. Falcon! Okay, well... 
I guess it's over this way. <laughs> that's that's uh, that's all I know. I think. Let's see if I can s uh, see if I can send it all the way into the back corner, maybe. Well, we've got eight shots. Let's use them. Ooh, okay. Almost messy. Ah, uh, Pity. Just slightly not enough sauce on that one. Let's get saucier. Maximum sauce. Almost maximum sauce. Ooh, uh, okay. Alright, we got six more shots to do the impossible. I, I still don't even know where it is. I'm just guessing it's off in this direction. <laughs> um, let's send it across the way here, I think. Let's start with that. I think that'll be... That'll be Deese. Okay. <laughs> I'm used to the flamingo, I guess. That's my excuse. Let's, let's give it a little bit more... A little bit more pesto. There we go. Nice. Okay, we finally... <laughs> uh, we finally got it somewhere. Still can't see the thing on the map. Holy cow, where is it? There it is. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's, let's just do it, I guess. <laughs> There's nothing else for it. Um, ooh, almost sloppy. Erk! All right, there we go. I, I used my, <laughs> I used my right foot to sort of phantom brake pedal the thing just now. I don't think it helped, but, well, it didn't hurt. Uh, okay, so I can see it, but it's still quite far away. Let's see if I can punt it right there. Oh no! A bank shot that it didn't, uh inform me of. Alright. Let's try to skim that a little less closely then. Or, do we want to... Yeah, okay, let's send it this way. Hoya! Well darn. <laughs> Is that nope? We got one more shot. Go for broke. Hail Mary! Here we go. Uh, and we're even the right color. This could work. This could be incredible. Uh, let's do that. That's something at least. But not enough. Oh well. Worth trying. That's for sure. All right. Now let's find. <laughs> The exit. Yep, the golf is um, the. <laughs> it's 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 um very nice to hear from uh, Dark Cloud Two fans that the golf in this game is generally considered to be absolutely impossible. <laughs> that's that's been my experience as well. <laughs> it's just uh, just not that easy. There's a trick to it, and I think the trick is uh, having some skill, which uh, is difficult to acquire. All right. Condor. Oh, Condor. Come get your steak. Proceed to the next floor, indeed. Oh, and away we go. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to save here, and it is time for... 
another good break of mine. I'm going to take my second break of the stream. Um, when we come back, I do believe we got ourselves a boss fight. In fact, let's let's hop in there now. Chamber of the Defending Wind Gem. Ooh, we've got some boss music. It's a robot. It's an offending battle bot. The Lapis Garter. That's not... All right. Ooh, the tension. The tension. Uh, oh, heck, I was going to take a break, but we'll do this first. Well, if, if I remember... <laughs> if, if this goes how I expect it to, uh, we're not going to be here long. I uh, could use a heal, though. I'm going to spend some cheese. And I'm also going to equip my actual weapon <laughs> for a change. <laughs> there we go. Now, let's see how the ride pod does. Infinite range. Loving that. Melt down half his health bar, bar before he even gets here. Okay. Just keep on doing what you're doing. There we go. <laughs> yep, that's a boss fight. Tasty, tasty experience. Alright, yeah, I'm glad I did this now instead of... Uh, <laughs> After the break. <laughs> I've been a bit anticlimactic. Um, perfect. We got the slime crystal. I mean, the wind crystal. Wind gem, sorry. All right, beautiful, wonderful. All right, now I shall go on my break. If this is your first time here, this is very much what we do. We play beloved old video games for the first time, and we enjoy the heck out of them. So if that sounds like your bag, I recommend a uh, like, a follow, a subscribe, etc. It's all fast and free, and it'll keep us connected for my future retro gaming shenanigans. When I come back from this break... Uh, we're gonna keep on keeping on. We've got two more magical gem-like MacGuffins to collect, and dang it, we're gonna collect them. I look forward to that greatly. All right, enjoy the kitty pictures while I'm away, and I will be right back, and we will collect, our, collect ourselves some MacGuffins. Be right back. Hang tight. <laughs> 